upon a time, in a corn country, there lived a beautiful girl named Rindersella. Rindersella lived with her muggly other and her two sad visitors. Also in this corn country, there lived a prance and hence. And this prance and hence was going to have a fancy fall. And he invited everyone from Riles and Mount, especially the people. And so, the muggly other and the two sad visitors went out shopping to, to go buy some fancy fences. You know, to go to this fancy fall. But poor Rindersilla couldn't go, because all she had were some old ready dags. So she crept down and shrine. And she was crept in shrine when her gay headmother appeared. And he waved his magic man. And there appeared before it, pick sight sources. He said, now Rindersilla, you best be home by midnight. I'm going to burn you to a tumkin. <laughs> Once Rindersilla arrived at the fancy fall, that prince and hence was there waiting to open the door because he saw everything from wind hinder. So the prince and hence and Rindersella and Nance all died, and they lell and fell. But soon, the mid clock struck night, and Rindersella stays down the rares. Before she could reach the bottom, she slopped her dripper. <laughs> <laughs> that prince and hence looked all over this corn country for that beautiful girl who slopped her dripper. <laughs> Finally, he came to Rindersella's home. The muggly other tried it, and it fitted dead. And the two sad visitors tried it, and it fitted dead. The Rindersella tried it, and it fitted dead. <laughs> so they got married, and they lived heavily proper happens. Now, the story of the Mori is this. If you ever want to have a prance of hence, lell and fog with you, uh, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs>